Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Today I have a quick tutorial where I want to talk about the power and flexibility in a uh, certain feature in Logic Pro X called Channel Strip Settings. It uh, makes the mixer in Logic Pro X extremely flexible and we can utilize it to copy a lot of our channel settings to other tracks within the same session or we can even move these settings uh, back and forth between other sessions as well so right now i have uh, my divine mixing template one daw template this is the logic pro x version open and let's just say for instance i wanted to use this uh, verse aux in one of my other sessions and I wanted to just have it available for me if I want to just pull this up at, at will. All I need to do in Logic to access channel strip settings is go up here to the top of the mixer. You see it says setting over here. We're just going to click and hold and then we get this menu for all of our channel strip settings. So we can scroll through those settings. We can copy it. We can paste another setting. We can paste plugins only or sends only, which I'm gonna show you in just a second what that's about. Uh, we can reset the whole setting or we can save these for future use. So one thing you can do is just copy. And then let's say we wanted to uh, copy it to another aux in the same session. All you need to do is click and hold and click paste. Now we can paste the entire channel strip setting, which what that's going to do, it's going to move the fader. It's going to set up the sends the exact same way, and it will adjust our plugins accordingly. Now you can also uh, paste and just do the plugins. So if we paste the plugins, you'll notice that our fader position stays the same and it will retain any of our send uh, settings there as well. So the other thing that we can do, is let's say I wanted to use this setting, this aux setting in another session entirely. All I need to do is go and we can copy it. And then I can go to my other session. And let's just say that you're going to uh, set up your aux. This is a, a verse vocal. And we send it down here with bus five. All I have to do is then click setting, click paste, and I only want the plugins because obviously the mix is going to be a little bit different. Fader position, sends are going to be set up differently. So I'm just going to paste the plugins. So if I do that, boom, it will send all of those plugins from template one aux that I just copied directly in there. Now, the other thing that you can do just to have these available without having to use copy and paste is we can go up here and we can go to save channel strip setting as and by default it's going to open up the corresponding folder for your settings in logic so right now it's in channel strip settings and these are my bus settings or the settings that are going to be used on oxes so let's just say i want to save this for future reference i'm going to do template one verse a so then i'm going to save it and then in any session that I open up on this machine using uh, this copy of Logic, I'm gonna be able to access that. So let's just go here and I'll show you another thing you can do is if you just wanna reset your channel strip settings to uh, blank, you can just reset it. So now I can go in and I can go user channel strip settings and then I can go to template one per se. There it is. And so I can use that in any of my sessions, pull it up, and that goes for uh, individual tracks as well. So let's say if I had a setting here in template one where I wanted to utilize, let's say the kick drum, let's say I had, or actually let's say the 808. So we can just save this, let's just save channel strip, and we'll do template one. And you notice that this is going in the track folder because this is not being sent to an aux. So we're gonna go template one 808. And we'll save that and then we'll go back to my other session and let it load some plugins real quick and then if i scroll up to my 808 all i have to do is go over here to the setting and we're going to notice there it is template 1808 select it and it'll load my plugins and settings there so really powerful again you can copy and paste your settings between mixer tracks in the same session or you can save them you can copy and paste them into other sessions so again very powerful feature of the uh, the mixer in logic pro x and it's going to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to having good starting points for uh, many of your uh, plugin settings and also some of your uh, leveling even if you want to have a basis 
for that. So I hope this is helpful for you all. If you weren't familiar with channel strip settings and how they worked, if you learned anything in the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.